In this tutorial, we are going to solve some questions under projectile motion. So I've got a number of questions with me here. So the first question is saying, a duck is thrown horizontally with an initial speed of 10 meters per second toward point P. The bull's eye on a duck board, it hits at point Q on the limb, vertically below P. 1.19 uh, seconds later, but A, what is the distance PQ, but B, how far away from the duck board is the duck released? Number two, a small ball rolls horizontally off the edge of a tabletop that is 1.2 meters high. It strikes the floor at a point 1.52 meters horizontally from the table edge. But A, how long is the ball in the air? But B, what is its speed? At the instant it leaves the table. Here is our question three. So the question is saying a projectile is fired horizontally from a gun that is 45 meters above flat ground. Imaging from the gun with a speed of 250 meters per second. But A, how long does the projectile remain in the air? But B, at what horizontal distance from the firing point does it strike the ground? But C, what is the magnitude of the vertical component of its velocity as it strikes the ground? Number four. In the 1991 World Track and Field Championship in Tokyo, Marco Paul jumped 8.9 meters, breaking by a full 5 centimeters the 23-year long jump record set by Bob Bellin. I assume that Paul's speed on takeoff was 9.5 meters per second, about equal to that of a sprinter and that G is uh, 9.8 meters per second in Tokyo, how much less was Powell's range than the maximum possible range for a particle launched at the same speed? Question 5. The current world record motorcycle jump is 77, uh, 77 meters, set by Jason Lenny. Assume that he left the takeoff lamp at 12 degrees to the horizontal and that the takeoff and the landing height are the same, negating air drag, determine his takeoff speed. Now, let's see how we can solve question seven, which is saying, a certain airplane, a certain airplane has a speed of 290 kilometers per hour, is diving at an angle of 30 degrees below the horizontal. When the pilot leaves a ladder, decoy as shown in the figure below the horizontal distance between the releasing point and the point where the decoy st strike the ground is 70 meters so they're talking about the range now but a how long is the decoy in the air but b how high was the release point so we also have question eight now let's see how we can answer question eight so question eight is saying so here's a question for you. Uh, upon sp spotting an insect on a twig overhanging water, an anchor fish swids water drops at the insect to knock it into the water as shown below. Although the fish sees the insect along a straight path at an, at an angle phi and a distance d, a drop must be launched at a different angle theta. If its parabolic path is to intersect the insect, if phi is 36 degrees and d is 0 0.900 meters, what launch angle theta is required for the drop to be at the top of the parabolic path when it reaches the insect?